how do we reabsorb bicarbonate in your proximal covalent tubule? Normally, you filter out what? You have bicarbonate, right? That's coming. Normally, a bicarb is going to bind with H+, plus, right? Which is pumped out from this cell, right? And then H+, plus and bicarb is going to bind together to form what? H2CO3 by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Okay, then the H2CO3 gets broken down by the same carbonic anhydrase to produce water that is going to get peed out and you're going to produce CO2 which is going to get diffused into your cell. Then it comes inside and the CO2 is going to bind with water again to form H2CO3 then gets broken down to give you H+, which is pumped out and bicarb which is going to get reabsorbed into your bloodstream. So that is how you reabsorb bicarbonate, right? So let me ask you this. If you know the normal process of bicarb absorption, what if I come and do something funky with the proximal complex tubule and say, you know what, I'm going to mess this carbonic anhydrase enzyme. Let's think about this. Will you be able to reabsorb bicarb? No, right? You won't be able to reabsorb bicarb. So what's going to happen? You're going to pee the bicarb in the urine. If you pee the bicarb in the urine, What's going to happen to your blood? It's going to become acidic. That is why you end up with renal tibular acidosis, type 2. So anything that's going to mess up your proximal convoluted tubule, it is because you're going to lose bicarb in your urine. Now what causes proximal convoluted tubule problems? 